Hi everybody and thanks for joining me, well for those of you that are going to join me, hopefully we have somebody, um, I thought I'd all knock the camera as I always do, um, okay let's pull my thing up there, I thought I would do a little craft with me today um, as I wanted to do a little bit of um, oh, being creative should we say. And I've lost my cardstock. Where are they? I want to use. Oh my gosh, what are they? Got me, got me here. We're here. Who is here? Hi, Cameron, honey. Oh, I think you'll enjoy this one. I have been doing some creating, and I thought what I would do is just come on and do a little craft session. How, how are you today, my lovely? I have been busy creating, creating like the mad scientist does um hi anna charles pack it in charles right i'm gonna beat you up in a minute pack it in right so i have been busy doing some crafting you may have seen some of my little creations let me just show you Right, so I first of all, yesterday, I designed a little box for um, little hand creams because I am doing the body shop now. And I just thought that these would be so cute to, um, you know, to send somebody. They're very light. They're not going to cost much to send. And I just think they're gorgeous, gorgeous um, little racks. I'm good, thanks. I've shared to my timeline and the music group. Oh, thank you, honey. I'll get on with my vid and a bit internet connection decided to we all over me then my laptop updated oh no right so this is what I made yesterday so I just wanted to show you oh didn't need to undo that um pack it in pack it in oh, these are made with the sweet strawberry bundle and look it has a little hand cream in it that says with love and I just thought that these were super cute you also get a card with them um, just adorable so I made a couple of these and um, so that was one thing that I've been doing oh let me get this back on here oh we're not going to make these today um, let me just do this back in a bow if I can um, my nails were so bad that I got some stick on ones because they just looked appalling and they and not very good right so that's what i made yesterday these little gift sets um hi patty but i wanted to send a friend of mine a little something she just a pick me up um so this is the envelope that i did look at this envelope isn't it just gorgeous we're using the um field journal stamp set and this is one from the annual catalogue and um it's one that i've had in my drawer and not really pulled out so i thought you know what um i know that the lady that i want to send this to hi mum um the lady that i want to pack it in i'm gonna really really lose my temper with you in a minute i'm so sorry he's really on one um so i wanted to send a little um pick me up to a lady and I know that she loves the countryside and so this is the envelope and then the idea was um, I wanted to send a face mask okay so I thought well I need to make like a little pocket card and that's what I did um, so it's got the field journal on here I've done like a vintage kind of theme and this is just lovely a wonderful person like you makes life even better honestly you're going to go on the naughty step in a minute it's got this gorgeous little gorgeous little squirrel this lovely um leafy bit and inside you've got your face mask i mean you could put anything in there um but i wanted to send a face mask and then in here you've got the leaf with the little ladybird and i've used the um stitched is it stitched with whimsy um dye to do that and i just thought that this was just super super cute i'm loving the envelope actually look at that isn't that just gorgeous but you know imagine getting that in the post and that coming through the door i would just love the envelope 
to be honest with you. Um, but I'm going to try and show you how I made it. I love Body Shop Satsuma. Anything that smells nice, smells that nice, you should be able to eat. Though I've got the, we've got some Satsuma hand creams, but I've got to make some little boxes for them because um, I don't really have anything with Satsumas on. I just have to do like an orange theme. It was just so lucky that we had the strawberry um, bundle, so I bought some strawberry ones to sell, and these are eight pound to post and um, with postage if anyone wants one. Um, right, but we can put any smelly one in there so right okay so this is what we're going to do i just absolutely love this i really do and this has kind of took me back to my journaling days and my vintage i pulled out some really old vintage lace that was sat in my drawer and that's what i did right so what we're going to do i have just got my envelope stamped so i thought i'd do the envelope first so i want to send another one um, so all I've done is stamped the duck and the flowery bit. Hi, Linda May, honey. Hi, Sarah. Right, okay, so we're going to use shaded spruce for... Oh, okay, first of all, if you are going to do an envelope, you're going to colour an envelope, you want to put a piece of card on the inside, otherwise your colour's going to bleed through. So just make sure that you put some... Um, cards. We're going to use the shaded spruce on his head. Oh my gosh, you know what? I just, I loved being creative actually because I do a lot of um, case cards, you know, but I do like to think off my own head sometimes and that's what I've done the last couple of days. I've been doing my own little thing. Right, okay, so then we need the... Um, pumpkin pie for his little feet like that and his beak and then we're going to use light crumb cake and we are going to colour in actually nope we're going to use dark crumb cake first and just colour in the breast bit here like that and I'm just going to do some dark and this is available in our annual catalogue so I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to come in with the light crumb cake and just colour in this bit here and his or hers belly Oh, I just think this is just super lovely. I'm going to also put some down here. Like that. And look, you know, it's just so nice to decorate the envelope. And then move your bit of card so it's over the other side. And then we're going to use um, Light Just Jade. So we've got Light Just ja ja Light Just Jade. What a mouthful. That's shaded spruce. Oops. Oopsie, where is me dark just jade? I've got my colours mixed up here, I think. Right, light just jade, that's what we're going to use. And we could have used the shaded spruce in that, but I used the Many Marvellous Marker because I couldn't find my shaded spruce, got a twit. Right, so we're going to use light just jade and just colour these in. So I hope you're all having a lovely weekend. <clears throat> Hubby has been doing some DIY, which has meant that I could be creative and get on and not feel guilty, as you do. Um, so yeah, I just thought, how lovely would it be to incorporate one of my businesses with the other? And that's what I've done with my body shop things. I'm trying to make little boxes for them because I just thought, well, it's a little bit extra special, isn't it? You know, and when you, you know, go into sales or you have a business, you've got to try and be a bit different than everyone else, if you know what I mean. So that's what I'm trying to do. Right. Okay. And then what we're going to do, let's just bring in the bullet tip. 
Now, if you want to come in and do some shading, you absolutely can. I'm not really going to bother. Um, then we're going to use the light cinnamon cider and just colour this bit in here. Like so. Oops, Daisy. And then I'm using, um, what colour is this? Light Melon Mambo. I'm just going to come in and colour these flowers. Just a little pop of bright in there. Mine was working this morning and now he's fitting a new petrol pump in the motorhome ready for when we have freedom again. Woohoo! Well, I actually have, um, I've got a radio cover. It's a funny story, actually. A big radio cover, rad radiator cover in my hallway. My, well, when Hubby decorated a year or so ago, he decided he was going to blend it in with the wall, which is a grey I did not like it. I wanted my radiator cover to be a lovely, gorgeous, white gloss. And he did it in grey matte. I was not happy. So for two years, I've been wanting him to paint it back. And today, he did it. Yay! Right, okay, so that's your envelope um, all done. Now, what I did was, I basically measured the um, the mask. And then what I've done is I did a card, just a regular card, um, the same, a bit bigger than that. So that was, where's the measurement? So that came out at a nine and a quarter by six and a half. Um, so we're going to score at four and three quarters. That's not right, is it? Four and three quarters is nine and a half, isn't it? That's nine and a half. Good job I checked that. Right, so we need nine and a half by six and a half. So let me just cut this down. Nine and a half. I'm using, um, I think I'm using pool party actually. I'm not 100% sure. Right, nine and a half by <clears throat> six and a half. Nine and a half by six and a half scored at four and three quarters. And if my maths are right, we should have this. Yay, there you go. Right. So what I did was I just did a card that was big enough. And then what I wanted to do is make a pocket um to put the to put that in. So I've just done that at um seven and a half by two so let me just do this seven and a half by two uh, seven and a half right sorry i've not got room to put my cutter on the thing hi nikki honey right okay so what I've done was I've cut the length of this and I've added half an inch. So this is actually six and a half, but I've cut this at seven and a half and I'm going to score half an inch, half an inch and half an inch down there so we can make the pocket. Let me just get this out. Right, so we're just going to bring this in and we're going to do, um, did I do half an inch or quarter of an inch? If I did, uh, no, that's wrong. I've got to do it here, half an inch. So that's right, isn't it? Six and a half, that's seven and a half. So we're going to do half an inch. There. Turn it around, do half an inch. And then we're going to do half an inch down here. Like that. That's it. And then what we're going to do is bring in our snips. And we are going to just, oops, a daisy without stabbing myself. Come in here, we're going to cut this. And we're going to cut this at an angle on both bits. Charles, pack it in. Sorry if I'm shouting. He's just being very, very naughty. Right, so just going to come in here 
and snip that bit away like that. Right, should be done with the measurements now. So we're just going to bring in our bone folder and we're going to do that like that and then we're going to do that and that like that and then what we're going to do is oh we don't need those bits do we i'm a twit i'm a twit right ignore me you don't need this bit here we're going to cut this at an angle i'm so sorry right so you just need to cut that angle completely off i knew i'd done it wrong like so hi joe honey hi nikki nikki right okay so that's going to be our pocket oh my gosh i have got stuff everywhere so all we're going to do is we are going to glue this down like that and if you find you've got like a little funky bit of a corner just come in and trim that up okay so what i'm going to do is stick some glue on here stick some glue on this bit here and then put this in like that glue that on charles please and then all we're going to do is charles can you hear him he's trying to get into my jaws <laughs> that sounded wrong that sounded so wrong he's trying to get into my jaws right and then oh gosh now look what i've done try and you have got some time for wiggling Right, so we're just going to glue this down. Hold this down. And you can put some blocks on it if you want, just while you're wanting it to, to set. And then we need to um, cut some layers. Yes, you're being very naughty. You are being a little monster. I don't know what's wrong with him today. He is just being a monster, monster, monster. Right, I need to find some more. Oh. Where is it? Where is Medea's pin? Right, I can't find the one I wanted, so I'm just going to use this from the Peony Garden because um, it is a nice, lovely pinky colour. And then I do need a piece of whisper white as well. So not organised, everybody. As you can tell, as normal. As normal, we're not organised. Right, okay. So that should be dry enough now. And there's your pocket pocket bit. So we're just going to do some layers here now. And I can't remember for the life of me what size I did these. Right, okay, I don't know. I really don't know. So let me measure this. And I'll tell you what size we did these at. So we did four and uh, just over four and one eight. So let's do that at four. Let me write this down, otherwise I'm never going to remember. So four and one eight by six. Oops, where are we? By six. And then this one is five and a half by uh, just over three and a half right that should be right if my calculations are right so we need four and one eighths by six let me just cut this up by six and then we need five and a half by three and a half five and a half by three and a half i told you it was just a basic um 
craft with me and why does that not look right that is not right it's not three and a half everybody oh my gosh right that's definitely not three and a half so what was that measurement oh my god i think it's three and three quarters oh not right not right five and a half That's why I need to plan things out better. Five and a half by three and three quarters. And it's always better to cut more. And then you can cut it down if you need to. Right, so let's have a look what that looks like. That looks about right, I think. So let's have a look here. There you go. That will work just as good. Okie dokie. Right, we've got them in the end. Flipping neck. E buy them. Right, and what we're going to do, we are going to stamp the. We do need a scrap piece of um, white as well to do the squirrel. So we're going to do the squirrel. Hi, Corinne. Right, so we're just going to do the squirrel there because we're going to cut him out, die cut him out with a. Um, a stitched circle I'm gonna put that down there like that like so and then that's it because the squirrel is going to go on now we're just going to color these in the exact same way so I'm sorry if You've seen this before because I've just done it, but I can't help it. Um, I'm going to do a distress look on this project. Because I fancy doing like a vintage kind of theme on this one. So I'm just going to quickly, it does not take long, honestly, trust me. It doesn't take long at all. Oh, God. Nearly coloured the flower in. Take your time. See, nearly fluffed that right up. Right. That's it. Then we're going to bring in the um, Melon Mambo colour cover up. My boo boo. Oh, I've missed a leaf. Look, can you see the leaf I missed? Mr. Leaf. I'm going to do that up here. Like so. And then we're going to bring in the light cinnamon cider. Oh, did I do the other one in green? I did, sorry. Let's just do the... That's that. And then we'll just do the bottom bit in the cinnamon cider so yeah I pulled out some of my vintage things today to just do a little bit of vintageness vintageness is that actually a word Chanel and all I'm doing on here is just really just colouring in the um, squirrel I'm not going to do too much what I might do on this one actually is maybe do some crumb cake for the branch let's have a look see if it looks better right so what we could do is actually bring in the light crumb cake is this the light one and just do the branch on this one and see if that looks better that like that right um what i'm going to do as well is i'm just going to get my soft suede and i've got a blender here and i'm just going to just dab it and just give this a little bit of a vintage edge That's all you have to do. 
we'll come back to that in a minute i need to do my circle so i've got dyes coming out the yin yang right we're going to use the um second stitched um stitched shape circle oh, mouthful right where's my little doodad Okay, so we're just going to bring this in here and you know it's so nice to pull out a stamp set and think oh my gosh I want to be creative with it video keeps freezing at my end going to have to watch the replay oh no right sorry about that Anna oh it's not the thing is this blooming mat moves oh come on it's me, it's not, oh, uh, what it is, um, because I don't have my glass mat anymore on here, um, it doesn't want to go in. There you go. It's because this keeps sliding. Look, it's just like, oh, it's a pain. Right, never mind. We will get over it. We will work around it. Right, okay, so um, I'm also going to distress this, the circle as well, so there's enough ink on here to just give it a little bit of a distressed look, like so. I've also pulled out one of my old book pages and I just want to do like a little bit on the corner just to give it a little bit of a... Let's see. Mm. I just want a little bit just to go on the corner like that. So let's put our front together. So we're just going to glue this down. And you can be as creative as you want. Honestly, that's the beauty, especially when you're doing, um, like, vintage look. You know, you can just, I don't know, just be creative. And that's what I used to love about the junk journals, because you can use ripped old books. You can, you know, put some something really trendy. I'll tell you what else we could do, um, which I might have some here. Oh, but I haven't got any left there. I mean, look, right, I have vintage bits and pieces from my um, kind of scrapbooking journal days. And, I mean, you can just go mad and let's see what we could add. I mean, I wanted to add an old vintage um, postage stamp. Let's add a post postage stamp on there. I'll tell you what, let's try and make this a little bit more vintage. Hang on. We could pop that up there, under there. Bring that down there. Look, oh, you flipping thing. Keep moving. Right. Do you find your... Oh, I did find them. That is so funny, Karen. Honestly, it makes you laugh. Um, I found them. Look. Look, I found them. A whole big thing of brands, I know. I found them this morning. It's quite funny though, actually, because had I have not been looking for something completely different, I wouldn't have found them because they were hidden away. And look at these lovely butterflies from um, a book. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is just gorgeous. I love it. Let's do something like that. I like that a lot. Oh, look, it's got love on there. See, you can just, oh my gosh, you can just, I mean, you can go mad, really, and just keep adding things to it. So what I want to do first, well, how did you manage to lose that? <laughs> Don't ask. Do not even ask. That's what I was laughing about yesterday, because they were all on my shelf, and I don't know why I moved it, and I put it underneath the counter, and um, 
yeah I completely completely lost it right let's do this I might not put um so much lace on this one because we've got a lot of other things going on so let's do that there okay we're gonna put that there oh, loving it oh my gosh I'm enjoying getting my vintage things out again oh love it so we're going to pop that down there and this is just an old book page then I'm going to put this old vintage 1900 and I think three this postage stamp is love it love it love it oh, super super gorgeous well, I want to put the butterfly up here like that could even put the love up there oh, look at that isn't that gorgeous then we could get a little bit of vintage lace which i have here a little bit and we could put a little bit of vintage lace under there maybe i don't know now do i just want a little bit of vintage lace just crumpled up on there Right, I'm not sure now. Right, let's put the butterfly down. And um, shall I pop him up on dimensionals? That is the question. Let's pop him up on dimensionals. Oops. Let's just pop him there. I'll glue this down, but I just want to. Do you know what this is? This is old piano roll. Oh my god, I'm telling you, I've got so much vintage things here, you would not believe. I'm just going to pop that down there. Now, if you think that this, you know, it's a bit white and a bit too, you know, oh my gosh, that's just too white, just come in and do a little bit more distressing do what you want with it right let's pop this up on some dimensionals if I can find. right i've got some bits here that i really need to use up because it really ticks me off when i've got little bits left on me sheet right and i think there's some more here so let's just use them up and there's another one there right I do want to put a little bit of lace on here, but I'm not quite sure now um, what to do. Maybe I should have put some ribbon under the thing. I don't know. Right, I've got some other vintage lace here. Um, these, is, I don't know how old these vintage laces are, but they're very, very old. And they were in my stash. So what I could do is, I don't know, I just want to put a little bit on here. Yeah, let's just put a little bit. Let us, um, let me just ruche it up a little bit across there, I think, is what I'm going to do. We're just going to ruche it. So what I'm going to do is just put a bit of this glue, if I can get it out, and just go along here, because that's kind of where I want it. And we're just going to put that down, and maybe just, just like scrunch it a little bit. Ooh, except it's got stuck all on my fingers. Right, let's just, ugh. yuck, yuck, yuck. There you go. Just wanted a little bit of screwed up lace on there. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look at that. Super, super lovely. And what I'll do is I'll put that on the inside as well. Right. Okay. So now what we've got to do is just decorate the inside. And we're going to use the same um, paper. Um... So this was six and a half by one and three quarters. So we need to cut that at just under six and a half. 
and just do that at I don't know if that's going to be a bit short. It's a little bit short because it's a bit that I had already cut. Oh, my gosh, right, I'm going to have to do another bit by... Right, ignore that bit. Oh, that's way too wide. I'll get this right. Hang on. That must be one and a half. Right, let's do that again. There you go. Right, so we've just got a bit of um, DSP on the inside. And we'll stick this down. Oh, come on. So we're just going to pop this down on there like so i haven't even checked if my face mask is going to fit in there let me just grab one right let's see if that's yes it fits it fits it fits right okay so that's that i want to put a bit of a lace down the side here now what I might do, because this lace is a bit thinner, I might get a bit of the, um, oh look, I've cut that too really short now, and I, you twit. Do it again, Chanel. Right, do that. I might have some music paper. It should have, it's the same size as the other one. Well, I haven't measured it all properly, don't carry on, so I just have to do that. Right, let me see what I can find. Put some music paper here. Right, I'm getting all my vintage stuff out today. Look, I've got an old piece of music paper. So let's go and oh actually oh I haven't used this for so long hang on where is it I've got a um, ruler that's got a raggedy edge so why don't we use it I'm just going to give that a little rip and I want to Do a little bit of music paper. Oh, all my tools that I used to use when I did my vintage stuff. <gasps> Getting them all out. I like the music sheet. Oh, these are so old, honestly. If you want some, Nikki, I can send you some, darling. Um, all right, let's going to put this down here, I think. So we're just going to rip that and do that. If you want me to send you some, darling, I will. Is that the right way up? That's the only thing with music paper. I cannot read music, so I do not know whether it's right way up or wrong way up. That way? Is that right? Yes, it has to be that way. That looks like it's upside down. Never mind. Right, where's me? Ujima flip. I'll pop some in the post for you, darling, because I've got loads. I've got loads of um, old um, oh, music programs, you know, from the songbooks and things. So I'll hunt you one out, darling, and pop it in the post for you. 
That doesn't look right, does it? It looks like it's upside down. No, that's it, because look, the writing. So it's like that. <laughs> right. Okay, we'll get there in the end. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I could have used some old ledger paper. Now I want to get all my vintage stuff out. Oh, my gosh. Don't get me started. I've got old ledger paper, old photos. I love vintage things. But this just goes to show that you can incorporate modern things. That's right now. I know because the writing, look, I can't blame in. I'm so silly sometimes. Right. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac for the lace. Um, I have your parcel packed up for, um, I'm not going to say out loud, just in case, um, Nikki. So I do have um, your thing ready to go for tomorrow. I've already done it. Right, let's get this on here. Oh, look, I can't see the music paper now. Oh, that was a bit silly, really, wasn't it? Look, you can't see the music paper. What a twit. What a flipping to it. I've covered the music paper up. Never mind. It looks good anyway. What a day. Took all that time to get my music paper right. And then I went and covered it up. What a wally. Right. Never mind. I've done it now. It's done. We covered it up. Never mind. Right. So we're going to pop that in there like that. Now we just got to put something in the middle here. So what I did was um, I just cut some of the DSP and I did a um, rectangle whisper white. Thank you. You can say what you want. She doesn't have Facebook. Oh, okay. Oh, bless. I have your um, strawberry thing for your mom ready to go. It's all packed up. So, yes, <laughs> I didn't know. Right, okay. So we're just going to do um, cut an inside piece. So we just want, I think it's six and a half by four and three quarters, isn't it? Yeah. So we need to cut that shorter. So we're going to do, uh, let's do six and a quarter by four and a half. Oh, bless you. I've wrapped it up all lovely. Right, let's have a look. Make sure that's going to go right in there. That's right. Now we need um, some Whisper White. And we're going to do um, our inside piece. So what I did was, oh, I've got dyes and things everywhere. So I'm going to use the um, Stitch Rectangle. And I think I used this one here. If I'm not mistaken. Have a look so we're going to do the stitch rectangle that size and then we're using the um, stitched with whimsy die to give it a lovely inside shape so what we're going to do is we're going to do the stitch rectangle like that and we're going to do the oh it's got to be the bigger one the bigger one i'm wrong it is the big stitched Stitch rectangle. Please fit. Please fit. Yes, it does. Right, and then we're going to do the stitched with whimsy in the middle like that. Right, so let's just sort myself out. Get me. Oh, 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 oh. Right, we're in the home stretch, everybody. Right, so we're going to put that on there. I do need a bit of tape for this, I think. Oh my gosh. Right, let's get a little bit of tape. I'm going to pop that on there. I'm going to do that so that it's even all the way round, I hope. Fingers crossed. And then we're just going to pop that on there and pray. That we've got it right. Please don't move. Oh gosh. Oh. 
Okay. Right. Let's pop you up there. Take that off. And then, whoa, careful not to rip it. Doesn't matter that that bit's ripped on the outside. And we've got this lovely um, stitched pattern. But I'm just going to do a little bit of stamping on there. And then we are nearly done. I'm waiting on your whimsy dies. Are you? They are lovely. And I thought I would get them out and <clears throat> have a little go. So we're just going to do the leaf with the um, shush, the leaf with the um, ladybug. Right, my desk is a flipping mess. Right, this is such a gorgeous set. It really is, um, and lovely. And I wanted to do a journal actually with with that on it. So we're going to use the um, Just Jade again on the leaves. Just a little bit of colouring going on here. Nothing drastic. And then we're going to use the um, Poppy Parade, the light one. Um, just like that, just like that. Okay, we're also going to just distress the edge of this so it pops out a little bit. Like so, and then we can put this together. I mean, look at the two. They are just, oh, I love them. Love them, love them, love them. Right, so we're going to put some glue on this. Hi Jane, honey. Right, okay, so we're just going to... So get your old books out. Get your um, scrappy bits and do something vintage. That's I'm going to challenge you, Nikki and Karen, to do something vintage. Even if it's a, just, you know, it's a card or a tag. Right. Distress something. Make it look old. Oh, thank you, honey. Right, so we're just going to pop that down like that. And it's making me want to do something on here. What about another butterfly or... What does I say? The heart that loves is always young. That's a bit too much, really, I think. What have we got here? Remember? Remember? Or we could just do a another butterfly, maybe. We've got another. Now these are literally just cut out of a a book. You know, I've just literally cut butterflies out of a a book. With that little subtle one. Not done much vintage. <gasps> there you go. I'm going to challenge you. Right, let's have a look here. And um, I kind of like. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh my god, I love it. Or do we want that one? That one, I think. I do like the yellow one. Right, yellow, or do we want the yellow one? The yellow one. Or should we have the the darker one? What do you think? Don't do my... Oh, well, there you go. Ladies, I have set you a challenge to do something vintage. What they're going to go out now and find out, find the most oldest thing that they can find. Um, hello, Tracy Hall. I didn't see Tracy Hall um, pop up there. Right. Come on, ladies. Which one do we want? The yellow butterfly or the brown one? And then we can finish this little thing off. What do we want, ladies? I prefer the darker one. I was thinking the darker one because I think it's more in keeping with um, what we've already done. Do it like that. Right. Let me put your pink back. Right. Okay. Let us. Yellow. Oh, we need a deciding person. 
Right, we need a decider because someone, um, Nikki has said yellow and Karen said dark. So we need a deciding vote, please. Somebody. The darker works with the vintage look, I think. Drum roll for the winner. Let's have a look. Let's see what I love. My vintage lace. Oh, I'm running out. Right. right. Am I going to have to be the bad person here and decide? Let's have a look. Pop that back in there. Okay. I will decide then. What one did we have on the front? Oh, okay, look. Let's keep it in keeping with the other one. Oh, bless you, Nikki. You can't go wrong, though, honey. That's just the thing. Either would have looked good. It really doesn't matter. It's just your own personal preference. That's all there is to it. You know, you. it's entirely up to what you want to do. So there you have it. A cute way to send... A face mask to someone and how lovely is that when they open their card and they've got look a sheet mask in there <clears throat> and they've got gorgeous gorgeous envelopes to go with if I can find them and there they are how cute are they going to be the postman I think that's a rather posh envelope look at that isn't that just gorgeous I love them good job Chanel good job Nelly what do you think, everyone? Do you really like them? I love them. And I am going to be sending them out today, uh, today, tomorrow. What do you think? I absolutely love them. I love both, actually. I just think, what a gorgeous gift. Ah, oh, aren't they gorgeous? Look. And this is such a lovely, lovely stamp set. It really, really is. You've got your little squirrel you've got your duck you've got um the ladybug you've got some leaves and this is lovely a little kindness makes a big difference a wonderful person like you makes uh get off my oh my goodness me what is wrong with you um how lovely is this especially for you know when you're going to give a little gift i just love it so there it is. That's definitely ha that's definite happy mail. Oh, well, I just wanted to make the extra special effort, and I just wanted to put a smile on someone's face. So I hope they'll enjoy them anyway. And I'm just trying to do something different with my body shop business. So as you can see, aren't these just gorgeous? I love these. This come turned out so gorgeous. It really did. Aren't they just lovely with your little hand cream inside? So, um, Nikki, you haven't actually seen inside it, only on photos. But that's what it looks like. And it has a little with love um, on it. With love. Isn't that just super, super cute? Just lovely. Love it. Love it. So I'm having a lot of fun being creative right so i hope you've enjoyed it today i've had a lovely craft session um loving them loving them loving them loving them that would make me smile if i got something like that through the post so very thoughtful oh karen thank you for your kind words honey um i just wanted to i like to send little gifts and the, plus also the masks are very light so it's not going to cost a fortune to send do you know what i mean but it's a nice special little something that won't cost the earth to post but it's telling somebody you know what it, you know something for you and i just thought that would be really cute so there you go my lovely thank you so much have a lovely lovely day i will be back probably tomorrow at some point i'm always back i'm always with you so love you guys thanks for joining me take care bye